everyone. Got Titans Returns Mind Wipe here. Um, this one's a little interesting. Uh, I did add some paint to him. Not a ton, but just a few little details here and there, like the silver there. Um, there's some gray going down the inside of the wing. Things like that. I also, the claws, I did a scraped up look on the claws, similar to Weird Wolf, who you will see. I will show you Weird Wolf. Um, not too much did I do to his bat mode. Most of the other stuff I did shows up in his robot mode. Uh, I got the little vents back here on his wing. And then his weapon thing, um, I got that little silver bit on the top. And then I, oh, I knocked them off. I scraped up the claw, the claw weapon part, as you can see. Painted it and scraped it up. So that it looks like it's been well worn. And that just pops on. Right? Right? There we go. Yeah. There you can see. Yeah, it is what it is. It's just gun. Not bad. He actually has a nice gun. I'll give him that. Um, bat mode's pretty cool. As uh, I'm getting messages. Like 80,000 messages every day. Because I'm popular. His wings, you know, they can flap. Woo, woo, woo. Head doesn't move much, but his mouth does open. So. Ah, ah, rah, 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 rah. Look into my eyes. And they have molded into his wings little speaker things. I thought about picking that out in paint, but mm, nah. It's a pain in the butt. Um, his transformation is a little weird. Um, it's interesting, but it's weird. Because uh, these parts become his hands and arms. His wings become his legs. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You want to get these arms just out of the way. And these fake wings will rotate around a little bit. I know you can't see. You can't see. And his, his bat head just folds onto his butt. And you can just take these and they just fold, fold, and then the little rubbery part, because the tip is made out of that rubbery plastic, has a little notch back here, and then there's his foot, which I added silver to the front of the foot, and a little bit of silver there as well, and the gray striping, yeah, there you can see. Also got his abdomen area which we'll show off in a minute a little bit better but again you just fold 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 lock that in and now he's got two legs he has a nice waist swivel I'll give him that not part of the transformation at all get that get his shoulder out Flip out his hands. Get his other shoulder out. Rotated. Flip out the hands. He does have double el double jointed elbows. Um, it's mainly for transformation, but when it comes to posability, they come in handy, which is nice. And then you know this is pretty much it. I forgot to show you his headmaster, who's in the po cockpit. Cockpit looks like um, a coffin. <laughs> ah! He can be a pain to get out. And then you'll knock that off. Because, you know, I have ham fists. So, get him like that. And you can see here's his body. Look at his headmaster real quick. I did add paint to him. Um, I added some silver to his chest. Uh, silvered up his face, painted his visor red, uh, little gray highlights around his chest. Let's see if this will focus on that. If you guys can see it. Not too bad. Um, yeah, I find it easier if you just take the screw out and just take these things apart. You can just paint the individual parts. I think the ones that I went uh, the most paint on is um, Astro Train's Headmaster. Yes, I have Astro Train. And Power Master Prime's Headmaster, which I'm getting to. I am getting to. It's on my to-do list. 
But here he is. There's Mind Wipe. And I added a little bit of gray to the crest of his head. And these little greebles that are on the side of his eyes. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, I did. You can give him his weapon. He can use this as a shield or as a claw weapon. And his gun. But he has nice posability. I'll give him that. He's a little thin. A little thin, but, you know, for one of the Decepticon headmasters, he actually looks good. You can pose these little wings on his back if you want. Flare him out a little. I like to flare him out a little bit just to give him a little something going on. He's got ball joint in his shoulders, and he's got the hinge so he can go up. He's got the rotation. I said double elbow. Um, the waist, which is nice. Most of these guys have waist. So it's, it's basically Scourge and... Um, Highbrow don't have the waists. Pretty much everyone else does. Uh, as far as deluxes, I know Astro Train doesn't have a waist. Optimus doesn't have a waist. But you know. But yeah, he can do more than the full Van Dam. He can actually, you know, have his legs go way up like that. Rotation has a nice little more than 90 in the knee. The feet don't really do much but rock back and forth. And this is actually annoying, the way his feet are. I would have loved if there was a little ball joint in there just to give him some extra posability. But yeah, he's not bad. I do like what they're doing with some of these, some of this line. I like the, the, the Luxes a lot. Um, I think they work. And I love that they're giving us uh, the Headmasters that were actually Headmasters. Not too crazy about the ones that weren't, like, you know, Scourge, Hot Rod. I'm still going to get them, but, you know, they were Target Masters. Make them Target Masters. Why Why force the whole line to have the head gimmick? Anyway, I did add some paint to his arms, too, as you can see. His forearms. So, yeah, that's Mind Wipe. Not bad. Um, I do have the Wave 1 Titan Master figures. The purple one, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Crash Bash, I don't know. I, they, they gave him such dumb names. But um, he is made out of the same purple as he is, and that head looks good on here too. So there's an option for you. I'd show you, but I don't have him within reach right at the second, so oh well. So that's it. Mind Wipe, not bad. Better than Highbrow, but not the tops of the wave. Uh, Chrome Dome come, is coming in third, because I think the other one is the tops.